Hello everyone! Welcome back to another colorful, fun-filled episode on I Play Debbie. Look out! It's Putty! 1992 System 3 Arcade Software. Another crazy, crazy thing to... You have to admit, people who made the music for Amiga games back in the day, they certainly didn't go back. Anyway, let's get started. This one is particularly weird. And here we are. Level 1. Little teaser level. Look at all of these directions of what to do. And this is Putty! Can stretch. And up we go. This is one of the games I played a lot as a kid. Whoop. And... There we go. I haven't played it since then, so this could be interesting. Absorb. This? Uh. Inflate. Now, ah, how did this work? No. No. I'm not sure how to do this with keys. with the joystick, it was just, uh, oh. the joystick was just, waggle the joystick. There we go. We absorb the little robot dude and deliver him to his UFO. Yeah, this game doesn't make any sense. You're going to have to get used to it. Uh, I actually have the manual for this game. And I thought it would be fun to see what sort of backstory it had, perhaps, back in the days when video games were just games and the story was in the manual. And boy howdy, does this have a story. I was thinking I could read it to you while playing, but in fact, it is a lot. <laughs> I might have to read it on a separate occasion. So yeah, as you can see, we are unfreezing robots for some reason. And we're bringing them to their spaceship. While evading strange creatures. We turn into strange things that you can sit on. And yes, we can turn into a liquid, which is rather fun. Ow. One thing I do remember, top left of the screen, you will see the little robot that we absorbed in blue. And the number next to it is its health. When we have one of them absorbed, it takes damage from like explosions and stuff. Which is what that scream was that we heard. There we go. That rather terrifying scream, to be fair. Ooh, sausage. And our pliability is our health. There's just something kind of fun about punching things as a ball of putty. And then sitting on it, so it was... Ow. Also the stretching. Stretching's good fun. I know there's a barrel. No? Okay. And 
Yeah, the whole, like, merging with the floor. It's like, covert. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Two robots that time. Yep, and we have a time limit, lives, number of robots in, number of robots out. It's all very clear as to what is going on, despite the chaos that is going on. Oh no, it's the Terminator Carrot. He hasn't seen me. He's about to. Truly terrifying. Um, I don't know what that guy is. He's like a weird green jelly thing? Ow. Yeah, that um, creature turned into a baby. That is... Um, Somewhat prevalent to the plot. Um, before I started recording, uh, it played the like tutorial demo. <laughs> I never thought I would see the words "try to absorb babies" uh, written down in my life, but here we go. It's the ninja spaceman. I'm in a bad place right now. There we go. It's okay. It's all good. Ninja spaceman can't hurt us here. So as you can see, the levels are getting slightly longer. Slightly more perilous. But at a good pace. You. Sit on you. And yep, a game that has no music. Just sound. Oh, I gotta punch him in the face. Come on, I wanna punch him in the face. Yeah! I always enjoyed doing that. Oh, oh god, he's down there. I forgot I left him. And he's the last one I need. Whoa. This is not good. This is not good at all. Oof. The Terminator carrot. <laughs> Why are there babies? The Terminator carrot really messes up the... Oh god, and so does the wasp. Terminator carrot really does a number on the... guys are trying to help. Oh, he came back. That would have been good to know. There we go. Congratulations, level complete. On to the next one. Look at me like that. Patty looking incredulous at the fact that I am playing this game for a select number of people over the internet. Oh, how times have changed. No, no, I don't have to go that way. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. 
fight, dude. That's fine. did that. Knocked himself off the platform, that's fine. Uh, I'm not sure where to go from here. Oh, okay. Everywhere except there. Good job. I do like little putty legs as he's running. Okay, one left. It's just kind of gratifying the sound effects and everything that it has. I don't know why, just punching him in the head is so fun. I think because he's technically the level boss. Believe it or not. Yeah, boss aliens. I think we're on to a new stage now. Dazzle Day's Villas. Yeah, unfortunately this game has a weird thing with resolution. So you have to forgive that being slightly cut off. But yeah, there's weird sausages running around and a troll who picks his nose. As the bosses for this stage. I think there's also a guy spitting from a window. I don't know what I'm saying when I play these games. Yeah, there we go. See? Also, a weird monkey shooting a cannon or something. Oh, and a wow, just everything going on here. I think a bunch of these guys I can't actually kill as well. Which is a Pain. Ah. Oh yeah, the beams. Those little weird things running about. They explode when you hit them. Oh, it stopped for me. That's nice. I think I know what this green blob is, though. Lovely. Luckily he doesn't hurt you. It's just his snot that hurts. I'm gonna punch these guys. Yeah. Um. Oh. Okay, we just have to chill here for a bit, buddy. Don't look so concerned. or spells or whatever, they explode too, I think. Something happens if you don't get the... <laughs> if you don't absorb the babies fast enough. Uh, we might see it happen. This is the gameplay loop for Putty. Uh, there was a sequel to this game. It was called 
putty squad. I never played it. I think it was towards the end of the Amiga's life. I might... I think it did get ported. Or, well, it was a multi-platform game. Putty Squad, at least. So maybe you have played it. Or have heard of it. Ah, mm, that sausage and the teeth. Mm. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a face to make. Oh, I remember! The teeth allow you to... <laughs> allow you to absorb bigger enemies. That's right. Ow. Yeah! Oh, I remember that. That's pretty satisfying. Ow. I forgot he said that. Yeah, I played this game a lot. As you might be able to tell, the fact that I know what I'm doing, unlike with Mean Arenas. The last game we played on this channel. That guy's spitting. I don't think you can kill him. I think he's just... level-specific hazard. let one of the babies go just so you can see what happens. Ah, I knew that egg exploded. Let's see what happens. Oh. Nothing happens? Hmm. Something's not right with that. Something definitely happens when you do that. Briefly, am I looking at the story here? It tells me that this character that we're playing as is called Billy. I don't think I knew that. No? God, something, something definitely happens if you don't catch the babies in time. I quite like that. The monkey with the cannon explodes into a baby, because the monkey also points for the cannon. Oh, you see that wizard throwing fireballs at us? That, out of his robe. That's slightly strange. Uh, he might be the final boss. Dazzle Days, the wizard. For that is his name. Dazzle Days has his 16-ton weight. Classic. Dazzle Days has his evil cat companion called the Weevil. Dweezel. Got it. Can't get rid of you. I need to... Need to inflate. And the enemies come back slowly but surely after you do something like that. So quickly do this. There we go. Come on, dude. Oh my god.
Oh boy. Um, can I get out? Thank you. This is the last one? Yeah, this is the last. Last robot. This is bad. Have some watermelon, why not? Like me some watermelon. Oh god, that looks unpleasant. Yay! Tearing through these levels. I know there are some stranger levels later, but... Oh, oh that close. That's mean, starting you right there. Beans are coming. Oof. Like a ninja. Let's see if nothing happened. Game, you're just making it out like I just want to see babies explode. That's not true. Something definitely happens. Uh oh. If you don't get the babies in time. I think, no, you think you can... The thing about the inflation is that it kills everything on screen. I can see his toes. And the... Sausage as well. So be that. Mwah. Stretching ability is really good to move things along quickly. It's much faster than that. Let's go. Okay. Let's go down. Got a wizard casting spells. Tasty sausage. Uh oh. Here we go. Don't you for the sake of it. Oh, so easy. Such skills. Was that that? Zone, or is there one more? Insert disc two. All right, game. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Ooh. That's private. Mm. Oops, not that. Don't load that. Please don't load that. Did I do good? Yeah! Techno fear. That's a pig on a space hopper and a red thing that absorbs you, which is disturbing. And also robots, I think? And light bulbs that I think are invulnerable. This level is a bit trickier, but it also has a character that is probably never going to leave my mind. Take it to the grave, and I get to introduce you guys to him. Reception. Oh, there's a little magic guy as well. I forgot about him. Excuse me. What's the worst? 
Oh, I got a burger. Okay, let's get going. Duck. It's a duck in a car. Oh, that was... wow. That was my health. Wow. I definitely need some more health. And I don't think there's going to be any. Oh my god, he killed himself. The robots are now jumping about, which is cool. A nice change. He almost killed me with his spaceship. Are you gonna move? Thank you. Oh, I need to take them to the reception. That's what the situation is. Oh, that was lucky. Don't think you can absorb the pigs. I think you need the teeth to do that. Get over here. Ooh. I think to kill the red guys, I think it's actually kind of gruesome. Let's have a go. Okay, nope. Wasted a life. I think I remember. Oh, wait! Oh, that's a whole other thing. They eat the bunnies. And then you take the bunny. And you can make a clone of the bunny? And when they eat you, you can, like, inflate and kill them from the inside. Let's see. How does this work? How do you do that? I made a cup. I made a cup, you guys. I made a cup. Anyway, this is the guy I want to introduce you to. It's Uncle Ted! Him and his little keyboard. He distracts all the bad guys. Except... Ah. Except some of them. So not all of them. But yeah, as you can see, this level is actually quite a bit harder. There are persistent enemies. That just deal damage to you when you're near them. Something video games... Especially side scrollers have never given up. I hate it. Touch an enemy, you're as good as dead. Come on, dude. Actually, that joystick also does something. I say cat thing because it looks like a cat there in that picture, which is evil. Guys, I really want to know what that is, and you're not making it easy for me. Slightly harder, lost some lives. We did indeed lose some lives, but we're fine. God, look at that background. That is that's pretty cool. The Tower of Zid. Whatever that means. I think I think these guys they follow you around, so if you 
go into the floor like I've been doing, they just sit on your head. It's annoying. B. 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 What does the B do? Oh, I can't jump through that. Can I? Yes. Always believe in the stretch. Oh no. Ow. I do remember this. This is annoying. Oof, that was close. Uh... So, yeah, it's not messing about this game sometimes. I don't know why there was always a pig close to the exit. Come on. Come on, I'm over here. I do not have very much time to do this. You get extra lives, a bit like Super Frog all over again. Starting out this game not knowing what to do. Oh god! It just saps your health. No, good. Oh, why did you do that? Uh, how much food in this level? Is he coming back? Or... Yes. Oh, I need two more. How on earth am I going to do this? I think he gives... Oh, he gives a bit. Whatever that does, I don't know. Jeez. No! Of all the places. It's gonna hit me again. That is so much health! killing themselves, but, you know. I feel like that bin is relevant. Like, it might be like the teeth? Oh! I was doing a uncanny dodge there and then the thing got me through the platform. Dodge one thing, there's always something. If I had to predict what's going to happen, I'm going to fall on that goddamn pig, aren't I? Oh, almost something worse. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to have to wait for him, aren't I? Oh! Oh my god, he's got no health! No health at all! Oh. No level bonus that time. Right. Oh god. I was about to say we should probably stop there. I am... Um, not confident about this. 
But yes, we should stop there. Enjoy some putty action next time. See you then.